Beautiful day today, guys. Uh, Mountain Airsoft here. I just want to talk a little bit about Tiger Stripe. Um, so I bought some Rothko Tiger Stripe uh, last year. And these are the shorts. I never wore the shorts really on patrol or anything. Um, so you can kind of see what the color looks like fresh. And then you can kind of see it's faded a bit with with uh, washings. And um, my real big complaint is with the pants. Uh, these black uh, cinches don't stay cinched. My pants are falling down all the time. I had to make a rudimentary belt. Um, so anyhow, uh, I had researched like cheap, you know, I'm not going to more military and beating up, you know, fancy tiger stripe. I'm just trying to find some cheap stuff. This is true spec and they claim their, their color tiger stripe is the John Wayne tiger stripe, which is probably the most popular. And you can kind of see the coloration side by side, even with new because the John Wayne true spec ones are new, but you can kind of see, you can really see the, the green, but, uh, you know, we, these have been worn on patrol maybe a couple times and you can see how bad they're fading. Uh, they are, uh, they are, uh, uh, rip stop, uh, but so are these. Uh, and then I kind of cheated because this is airsoft. This isn't reenacting. Uh, and I'm getting old and fat. Um, I bought some uh, Helicon uh, pants. And um, these Helicons have a Velcro cinch that works really good. I wore them yesterday and, and uh, I was really pleased with them. And they've got a, a box cut in the, in the butt here. Uh, I don't know if you can see that fabric right there, but there's there's a box in the butt where these ones don't have that. It's just a straight stitch down the seam of your of your butt crack there. So that's always a great place for it to break out after it's riding down your hips. Um, and then on top of it, what I was pleasantly surprised about, because you're ordering stuff online, is... Uh, is that this Helicon matches TrueSpec pretty flipping close. I mean, it's 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 really close. Uh, I'd be hard pressed to tell them apart. Um, and you know, they've got cargo pockets in the side and they have a cell phone pocket, which is obviously not, not uh, era correct. But you know, these, uh, these Tiger Stripe uniforms were, um, you know, uh, th th there was nothing uniform about them when they were ma being made in country. Um, the United States never formally adopted Tiger Stripe, even though you watch, you know, I just posted a uh, video of a center peel at MACV Saga Nai Trang, and, um, you know, almost all the guys there were in Tiger Stripe. So um, it was really popular with LERPs and and uh, recon units, uh, MACV SOG, uh, Navy SEALs, you know, guys that, uh, you know, made a living not being seen. Uh, they tended to use it a little bit more. But uh, anyhow, uh, this is what I'm going to be wearing. I'll be, I'll be loaning these out to somebody else. Um, if there's anybody that's big that doesn't have anything for the game that works better than nothing but boy i sure wasn't impressed with that rothko stuff so anyhow want just real quick uh, the blouse is uh, true spec and and uh the trousers are are uh, are helicon made in poland and they came they were within a week i was impressed uh coming all the way from poland so anyhow uh thanks guys uh we'll see you this weekend if you're coming out it's supposed to be nice weather um no rain, so anyhow, uh, about the mid-70s, so it'd be perfect weather. So anyhow, we'll talk to you guys later. Mountain Airsoft out. Bye.